Okay guys, this is a uh, short uh, tutorial video on how to change the recoil spring on the 5.7 pistol to Elite Ammunition's new and improved heavy duty uh, spring. A couple things you need. One, safety glasses, because if you let the stupid spring shoot off and hit you in your face, I don't want to hear about it. So wear safety glasses. Second item, I want to get a pair of small curved jaw vice grips and wrap the jaws with electrical tape or in this case you can see duct tape this is so it doesn't mar your barrel uh, some people are relatively sensitive to that uh, you also need a small flat tip screwdriver uh, to pop the uh, c-clip uh, ring off uh, that ring is kind of tricky to get out it looks like a round c-clip ring that uh, retains it but it's actually a flat spring that fits into the channel on the uh, barrel uh, the final thing you need in this combination is a pair of really good small snap ring pliers. Uh, these are actually made in Germany. Uh, they're called Knipix. Uh, they're from they're for, uh, tech, uh, for uh, 3 to 10 millimeter is the range. Uh, you want to get these. These are going to be any uh, high end store. If you still have a real Radio Shack by you, or for you West Coast guys, your fries back in the corner where they got all the techno goodies, they should have these snap ring pliers. Okay? Alright, first, take your 5.7, make sure it's clear. Alright, here's your barrel. Alright, one of the things that does make this easy is a vise with soft jaws on it. Not entirely necessary, you can make do without, but it makes it a hell of a lot easier. Uh, right here you can see I've already installed one of our heavy duty springs on here. I, we put red paint on them. Uh, you slide it back. You can see the little follower and then the retainer. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to clamp it in here first. Uh, I'm clamping it on kind of a downward angle uh, to hopefully make it easier to see in the video. Alright, first we're going to do, we're going to take the spring pressure off. Alright, I know some of you are probably thinking, you know, wrap. Uh, the barrel with tape instead of the jaws, but then you've got to slide this off and then you're going to be hitting the tape and it's just a pain in the ass. Alright, so we're going to lightly clamp this on here. Clamp it a little farther up, wherever seems necessary for you. Uh, give you the most room to work as possible. Right here you can see we've got our flat snap ring. Again, you're going to go in with the high end snap ring pliers. Now again, like I said, this is tricky. This little bad boy is flat instead of being round which actually makes it a little harder to get out you'd think being if it was flat and a little thicker it should be a little easier to get out but of course it's not of course I never have a problem doing this until I'm doing it on this stupid video ah. I'm gonna change the angle on this didn't happen. This ain't working for me down an angle like that. Get out of the way. What you need to do is spread these just enough so that you can hook it with the flat tip screwdriver like I did right there. And then just peel it off. Alright. You see here, I started the peeling. And off it comes. Again, this is where the small flat tip screwdriver comes in handy. She is sort of round, um, but if you actually look at it uh, under a magnifying glass, you'll see it. It's more of an uh, an oval, uh, oval shape. Uh, the actual wire isn't perfectly round. And then now, what you would do is you just release the vice grips. Obviously, not letting spring shoot off across the room. Here's the retainer, here's the spring, uh, it really doesn't matter what direction these springs go on, uh, but we do paint the one end, so I always recommend uh, put the painted end uh, out, so that way you know for sure that you've got the uh, uh, heavy duty spring in there in case you've forgotten what spring you have, uh, what, sp what in spring you've installed or, or what not.
boy on. Reverse procedure. You don't even need the snap ring pliers for this. You can just you can just pull it right down. And that's it. That's how you change the recoil spring on a 5.7 pistol. And you're good to go.